keeping it low keeps it able to go. So. I will fight with honor. All right, gotta remember we're not tempo war here, so we're control control. If this is a super control as well, this is gonna be an interesting matchup. Well, we got a, we got something to take a weapon, so that's a positive. We don't have a lot of things for early game madness, but we'll see here. If this is a control paladin, like I was close that one game, but not close enough. Okay, so this is aggro. Terrible open hand for aggro. Just got a little bit better. Let's see. So far, it says stream quality is excellent, but I'm offline. I don't think that's the truth. Still says stream quality is excellent, so we'll see how long that lasts. Might as well develop this now. Based on what's in my hand, tip my hand, whatever, I'm a Cthulhu warrior. We're everywhere now. Cthulhu warrior is so in right now. Now we wait. Because I actually don't have great plays if he is super aggro. And considering he's playing Abusive Sergeant, this is very likely some kind of swarm deck, and I really want my Ravaging Ghouls. But no, I don't want him to get his tokens buffed. Let me think. He does. He's holding on to coins still, so we'll uh, see it comes. That's a Rallying Blade. That could be a decent thing to take. Brawl is good here. I think it's time to develop it. Like, we could brand, get some double buffs out. That's what I've seen people do before. At least would be really nice here. At least to stop some early aggression, assuming that's what we're playing against. What I'd really love is if he didn't attack into this and I could steal a card. But that's not a death rattle, that's a battle cry. Let me and if this, there's some varying things I've seen. I haven't looked too much into the latest trends for aggro pally, but I do have a question of do they run true silver champion as well as rallying blade. It feels like four weapons might be a bit too much to run, but it works for tempo warrior, at least with the Arathi weapons, at least until think. rank five. Which maybe if I had some more patience, things would work out pretty well. I know... Uh, I had made some mistakes previously in terms of that, but sometimes you get to get around these hiccups. And uh, Control Warrior is still an archetype that I'll come for, so that's not bad. Okay, thinking about something, thinking about everything. Obviously, a problematic board for him. Well, that stops the Harrison play. We did get Jestikar, which is good. I think I'd like to see if I can draw into a better solution than this. Although I don't have a lot for two mana. That's not one of them. So we're going to just... Yeah. And that may have been a mistake. Maybe I should have played uh, Cthulhu's Chosen instead of armoring up and waiting for Shield Bash. But if I can develop Justicar next turn, maybe we can keep things running. This is the thing, too, is that while I'm familiar with how Control Warrior generally works, a lot of my experience this season is from Tempo Warrior. Me think. And that's something I really feel like holding on to. If anything, I'm really surprised about the health totals right now. So he's used one Kings, he's used both Sergeants. Alright, right, well if it's Secret Pally, we're going to have a grand old time here, aren't we? 
play it slow. Ooh, competitive spirit. If this is the new breed of secret pally, they only run but a few secrets. So we could do anything from pressuring them down to outright just uh, stomping. This actually uh, competes with Mysterious Challenger, all except for the whole, you know, noble sacrifice thing. Reporting for duty. My shield for okay. That's a decent play. We're just armoring up from here on. I think even now. I mean, his board trades into my Cthulhu's Chosen. But, I, but considering we have the uh, tank up button now, if he can't pressure us and we can get a really good brawl off, that means that uh, we're going to get some decent Emperor value next turn. So we have a 12-12 Cthulhu. Twin Emperors is really strong here, if we can get it. Bran would be nice. Harrison the draw is actually a little bit problematic. You know, I'm a little... Okay, if this were super aggro pally, he'd be dumping his hand more and trying to get divine favor plays. So if it's secret pally in that case, we're just uh, waiting for Godot at this point. They may run one. Okay. I would much rather get that out of the way now. So the question is, does he keep his taunt? Or does he keep his 2-3? He keeps his tooth. The light protects me. Okay, we're getting towards a better brawl, but uh, Emperor Thorissian is going to play taunt games himself, especially now that we have Bran to cost produce this. This is going to put the game in a very tight spot for the Paladin here. He can't clear this with what's on board right now. He's going to have to use some kind of buff. Uh, he only has a few cards remaining. So let's see here. I wonder too, for Bran's battle cry with Harrison Jones, destroy your opponent's weapons and draw cards equal to its durability. Does that mean you get a double draw off of Harrison? I'm pretty sure the conventional wisdom mm. is no, you don't. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I don't mind playing longer games if that means I can have more consistent performance. If the metagame uh, legend here starts to look like it's mostly like shamans and warlocks again, which it may around ranks four, three, or two, then we'll definitely get back to that. The person, the Yogg and Load Hunter that I ran into, he just he wasn't greedy enough. To back. Maybe he thought he was facing a different warrior. Oh man, if he leaves, if he leaves the Rissing up, None okay, he's not really good. All right, still not a great brawl. Decent Ravaging Ghoul. Decent Disciple, actually. Although we can't fit it. I guess the question for me is how important is a big Cthune versus just getting a huge armor up? Because 10 armor with tank up is going to be about the same as 20 at this board state. I can clear this, force him to answer, and tap the armor button. That seems pretty good, because right now I don't want to brawl away a bunch of little tokens. Kind of wish I had a second Cthune minion to play, but so it goes. 16 16 Cthune. It's still decent for next turn. Thing is that I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the board right now, though, so. If he's playing a true silver, this is when we're going to see it. If it is secret paladin list, it does run multiple one true silvers and at least one rallying blade. I wonder. None may steal our hmm. Okay. Got that out of the way. Secret. 
What do you want to bet that's repentance? I think there's a very good chance. Let's see if we can get a minion that play into that. I think Ancient Shield Bear is alright to trigger that. He kills it on board, so it's noble sacrifice then. It could be redemption, it's definitely not sacred trial. Twin Emperors is just so good if I can pull it off next turn. And our Cthune is currently 16-16, so that matters. Let me think. Since he's gonna opt for the control. Mm. That is so tempting. Oh, so very tempting. I could Cthune, which will likely draw out his uh, legendary. The problem is that we can't bust it right away. So it's probably better if we Twin Emperor here. Every turn we can hit that armor up button, the better. We're going to be holding on to our Cthulhu for a little bit. We have one Brawl, which is good. So it's likely a Noble Sacrifice. You can't Brawl with one creature on the board, so... Okay. Acolyte's not bad. We have the Cthulhu already. Could just brawl Harrison. That means there's still a chance we keep our taunt. Alright, that did not work out like I hoped it would. See what else we can get here. There's a lot of things we can draw into. Yeah, if I was going to brawl, I might as well play the Acolyte. Well, then I couldn't have actually done the Harrison play. So am I too greedy on Harrison? I don't know. We do have a second brawl in here somewhere. We still have a Cthune, which will wreck his board, practically no matter what he plays. But I'm almost certain that's a noble sacrifice now, which means attacking in wouldn't have really mattered. The board state in this game just isn't making Brawl very playable, which means maybe it gets a least away later. But dude is taking his time thinking his thoughts. Maybe that's why he's a better player than me. I mean, what do people used to say? Secret Paladin is the deck that just pilots itself, right? Right now we're on the Fatigue Plan, second Acolyte of Pain. Second Brawl. Let's play this nice and slow. Let the pain speak to me. I mean, there's no great reason to take a bunch of face damage. I could Cthune here. I would strongly prefer to execute here. Especially since I'm not running any silences here. So there's shield block. There's one more card draw. Okay, so now he's... Okay, now we have a decent Sylvanas pickup. Let's see if we can get the greed. We got the shield slam. Greed is go. So redemption, back to life. Still got three cards. Now that means we're that much closer to fatiguing out, which is a little bit problematic. Depending on what he plays on the board, I can't Sylvanas and Brawl the same turn. I 
wonder. Elise isn't terrible to play. I think Arkathune is about as buffed out as he's going to be. So all this time, and I could have just gotten a redemption off. Okay. Ravaging Ghoul is just fine. Especially since Execute is literally at the bottom of our deck. We gotta start hitting that life total, which right now, with nothing else on the board, we're threatening lethal. We still have a brawl. This is definitely taking a while. I know you can't see the little tick counter here, but he's taken 10 minutes so far on his turns. That was a that was a nice redemption, though. That was a good bluff. If I had just attacked into it, it wouldn't have changed anything. But I could have. I didn't actually need to use a brawl there. But I am six cards into my deck further than he is. And it may be at least time, depending on what we have. Probably don't need to play a few different things. Once again, we have the tank up card. Like I said, it just kind of depends on what he does. The light protects me. So, 16, 16. How much health does he have on the board? Potentially up to 4, 5, 6, 24, 22. So there's a chance that I do not kill him with this move. He's definitely not playing Reno. So let's go face and wait a turn. Do you have the artifact? And this gets us one card away from fatigue. Isn't that nice? I guess we can develop a board with Beckoner here, but like I said, it gives us a little bit more Cthulhu power. It was your fault. He's gonna go for the win. Like, he has to use his life total for Ashbringer for something. There was a chance we could have won that last turn with Cthulhu, but... If it's not 100%, I'd rather not make the play. So there's Mysterious Challenger. Back to your homes. Alright. Only one more secret. Is that Noble Sacrifice? We still should have enough to punch through between all the crap that's on the board. I mean, he's at 9 health. He's going to have to trade very damn carefully here. 6 health. Alright, so there's a chance we outright kill him right now. So, let's go for it. Alright, did we get it? We did not. This way. Well played. Still has a good one. Even if it took four. Boy, when you're getting this high in ranks, you gotta just take the time. Hey look! We're back we are beyond where we started. What did I say my goal was at the beginning of the stream? To just progress.